and today we're back with another topic. So when we study English, listening and reading is very important. So this is not less important. This is very important as well. So first we have this is the irregular verbs. We have infinitive verb, past simple, past participle. So these are the words that I have just uh, they thought of and which is important in our daily lives when we speak but this is not all of them so we're going to do go step by step okay so first of all we have become in the infinitive form then we have become we have became became in the past simple form become become past participle form okay so let's start with this I become a teacher. So the infinitive is in now, like right now. I become a teacher. Then I also have, I became a teacher like yesterday. Like in the past, we have done it. Then become, I become a teacher. I have become a teacher for three years. Next is draw. We have draw in the infinitive form, then drew, drew, then drawn, drawn. So we have an N here, so the pronunciation is different, okay? Draw, drew, drawn. Then we have I draw a picture. I drew a picture. I have drawn a picture, okay? As you can see the difference there. And if you practice this and you like learn it by heart, you have to know it, then it will become a very like influent, fluent English. Next, go, go, went, went, gone, gone. Then we have go, went, gone. I go to school every day. I went to school yesterday. I have gone to school for four years. Next, take, take, took, took, taken, taken. We have take, took, taken. So that is a thing that you need to remember as well. I take a pen. I took a pen. I have taken a pen. So it is used in different situations. Right, right. In this word, we have the W there, but we don't pronounce it. We just write it out to, to for a complete word, but then we don't pronounce it. It is a silent letter. We have write. We have wrote, wrote, written, written. Okay. Next, as you can see here, this word is completely the same but as i go through it as you can see that it pronounced very differently so listen carefully read read red 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 okay read red red it's the same it looks the same but it pronounced differently okay i read a book i read a book i have read a book okay next eat eat then we have eight eight okay eaten eaten i eat vegetable i ate vegetable i have eaten vegetable then also we have find find found 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 find found found so that is a word which is like yeah, that's the Vietnamese translation. Looking for something. Find. I find the key. I found the key. I have found the key. And then, yeah, so let's read it all again. Okay? So, become. You have to repeat after me, okay? Become. Became. Become. Okay, very good. Next, draw. Drew, drawn, nice, go, went, gone. Remember this T, okay? Take, t 
took taken nice right wrote written we don't pronounce the w remember that read 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 so if you may have if you're wondering how would we be able to recognize these words when we write it down well you have to just look at the words around it the like the word in the sentence with it and then you have to know what is it to and then you know how to read it yeah so it is not that easy but if you keep practicing you will be a, a pro next eat it eaten okay very good find found found so that is all about this irregular verbs so we have the infinitive the past simple and we have the past participle so there's the meaning and here's also there's the meaning here too so look over this again and review it so try to remember it by heart and then use it for your english so i hope that this lesson will give you some tips and will help you during your english journey thanks for listening bye